Dr. Swachla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What is PGT and who are the patients that are eligible for this procedure under IVF? You are aware about IVF, in vitro fertilization, where a woman is uh, injected with hormones to make her eggs grow. After a certain period of time, the eggs are retrieved under anesthesia from her body. Uh, they are either mixed or injected with her husband's or partner's sperms. I say that because IVF is different from ICSI, intracytoplasmic sperm injection, where each sperm, one sperm is injected into each egg. So either this or that procedure is done and in, in about three to five days, embryos are assessed and good looking ones, morphologically good ones, the ones that are capable of having the highest implantation potential are transferred back into your uterus. So that is IVF in a nutshell. But in this case, but many times IVF also results in failure or there could be some indications that ask for more treatment options than just IVF. Let's look at those indications. It could be that you've had previous miscarriages. Recurrent miscarriages also are a cause of abnormalities. So what is pre-implantation genetic testing? Pre-implantation genetic testing involves testing of the embryos that are produced via IVF. These embryos are either biopsied, a few cells are removed from the embryo or the media around it, the solution around the embryo is uh, sent for genetic analysis. Who are the patients who are eligible for this procedure? You may be having any some kind of a chromosomal abnormality which could have been detected by chromosomal karyotyping or many other chromosomal assays which are present right now. Or you could have had previous recurrent miscarriages, two or three or more than that miscarriages also qualify you for a pre-implantation genetic testing through an IVF. You may have had a previous abnormal child which is why also you uh, can opt for PGT, pre-implantation genetic testing. Another important factor for opting for PGT is age. As you are aware, a woman's age as it increases, a chromosomal abnormalities in her eggs also keep increasing. So if you are trying for pregnancy in your late 30s or early 40s or after that, it's better to go for an IVF with a PGT which involves analysis of the chromosomes in the embryos and only the embryos which are normal chromosomally are transferred back into your uterus. By this procedure, your success rate increases by around 20%. So it's a very good technique for the list of patients that I have just mentioned. But if you want to understand more about this, if you have any of the problems that I just mentioned and you would want to listen to the procedure and the entire explanation of PGT, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.